Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Check out what we're about to do today. So first I'm gonna start off using my ceramic cuticle bit that you can find on ctones.com in the cuticle bit set. So I'm gonna start removing her cuticles, removing that dead skin to start the preparation process. I'm gonna use a fine sanding band to remove the shine from her natural nails. And after I prime, I'm going to put a very thin layer of Glacier Crystal Clear Acrylic down on her natural nails, just as a barrier between her nails and the colored acrylic. So we're using forms today, sculpting this set. And I'm gonna be using forms by Koopa Ink. And this nail is going to be a marble nail, so I'm kind of free to do whatever I want. So I'm just gonna sporadically place very wet beads of different colored acrylic down. I'm just going to spread it around a little bit. There's really no rules to a marble nail. It's very easy to do. Now I'm going to encapsulate in Glacier Crystal Clear. I'm going to build up my apex and secure my cuticle area. You want to make sure you encapsulate the entire nail and crystal clear so this nail is going to stand alone it's only going to be white <laughs> it's going to be our soft milky white it's called rhythmic so here you see me building up the apex and completing the body of the nail and after I do that I'm still going to encapsulate in glacier crystal clear you don't have to, but I like to do it anyway, just to ensure that my nail has the structure and the thickness that it needs. So there goes my thin coat, coat I'm sorry, of Glacier Crystal. This nail is gonna have glitter on it, so I'm gonna start off with some very wet beads of rhythmic acrylic. And I'm going to use my brush to lay down some random specks of glitter. So this is a marble glitter nail. So it's the same as the marble acrylic nail. You just set the colors wherever they go and let them kind of do their own thing. So now I'm going to encapsulate that in crystal clear. And I'm doing all of the shaping with my brush. And now I'm going in, I'm going to start my milky ombre using that rhythmic that we used on the previous nail. And once my ombre is completed, I'm going to go in and I'm going to encapsulate that entire nail in Glacier Crystal Clear. And I know after coat, after coat of acrylic, it looks like a very thick nail, but when acrylic dries, it seems to kind of shrink a little bit. So a little goes a long way, but don't be afraid of doing them too thick because that's what your e-file is for. So on this nail, this is gonna be another marble glitter nail. I'm doing the same thing as I did on the other nail. I'm just placing some random glitter everywhere. There's no rules in the world of glitter. It just does its own thing. So I'm going to start encapsulating that just to hold that down onto the form. So now when I go in and I start filing and really shaping the nail after I've taken the forms off, I'm going to use an extra coarse sanding band. Now this step can also be done using the hand file, um, but this just makes it much faster. But if you are not experienced with an e-file, I don't recommend this step. The drill bits are dangerous, the sanding bands are dangerous, and you just don't want to hurt yourself or a client. So if you are not experienced with the e-file, I recommend using a 100 grit hand file. And this is the part where I just go in and 
shape up. Make sure everything is crisp and accurate. Everybody wants that Instagram nail shape. And it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of manpower. And especially with this hand file, don't think that we get it all done with the drill. We also whip out this 100 grit hand file, which can be found at Sally's. They're by Beauty Secrets. They're super sturdy and they're really good to use and inexpensive as well. So now I'm gonna go in with a medium sanding band. And this is the part where I just smooth over the surface of the nail. Blend in my cuticles a little bit. Any imperfections, I kind of smooth out right here at this point. And using my comb bit, I'm going to seal her cuticles and get out any of that excess debris or product dusting, of course. And now we're going to use, um, this is a Koopa top coat, non-white top coat. And this nail is going to be a sugar nail, so it already has glitter underneath. And now I'm just going to apply the glitter on top. And because it's a non-wipe top coat, all I have to do now is cure it and dust it off, and it's done. Be sure to use a non-wipe top coat. So there you guys have it. Beautiful birthday nails. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out our websites, our Facebook pages, Instagram. We are everywhere. CaliforniaBoutique.com and Ctones.com. Love you guys. God bless. Thank you so much.